Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Checking the volume here. I, I hope that you all are doing well. Just making sure that this thing is on. Good morning to everyone. I pray that you're doing well this morning. God bless you. <clears throat> this is Sister Shelley. For those of you who are uh, new or unaware, this is Sister Shelley, and we are here for another midweek prayer, 6 a.m. prayer, how to slay in prayer. <laughs> I think I explained that to you the last time, the meaning behind that. And uh, I just uh, pray that um, you guys are doing well and that you're ready this morning. <clears throat> got me a little water. You got me a little coffee. Good morning. Let me check and see. Oh, good morning, Sister Tanita. God bless you. Thank you, sis, for joining this morning. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water here. And, of course, I have a little cup of coffee, so let me take another sip. I've just been sipping and thanking the Lord while I was waiting to come on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord was, was speaking to me this morning about discipline, discipline, discipline. And he was saying the best way to counter attack because on my prayers uh, yesterday, the Holy Ghost just kept, you know, saying counterattack and ways to counterattack. As we know, you know, uh, we just, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, passed uh, uh, the, uh, the Halloween holiday, but that's just a day. That's just a day, right? And the Spirit of God was saying, um, you know, many of you were praying against this and... Uh, you know, have been uh, warring in the spirit against the attacks of the enemy that have been launched against the church and launched against the world because he's trying to take the whole world down with him. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. And I pray that we all would just wake up to the fact, you know, of what's going on and who the real enemy is and stop fighting each other and bickering against each other and biting and devouring each other and get focused on the real enemy. I pray that you guys can hear me. Let me turn this this rain thing down because I like to listen to rain when I'm sleeping. Um, I pray that we get uh, the real, you know, uh, truth in our hearts of who the enemy is because that's when the church the bride of Christ will become the most powerful and begin to really walk in the true power and authority of the bridegroom the true power and authority of Jesus is when you know what you're what you're up against you know you know who uh, um, you know you're not just beating against the air. You're not just beating against the air. And we speak about that concerning prayer, but I'm talking about life in general. We walk around beating against the air and we don't know, you know, who the real enemy is because we can't see him. But we claim to know God, but we can't see him either. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, being against the air, in, uh, you know, Bible says we know who we worship. We worship the Lord Jesus. We worship God Almighty, <clears throat> creator of heaven and earth. He is our heavenly father. But then, you know, do we know who our enemy is? Because if we're if we're worshiping God and we love in God, that's what worship really, really means and what what it really boils down to. Then, you know, check out the book of John. First, second, and third John, you know, where it, when, when Jesus is talking about, and John was the disciple, he, he always liked to boast <laughs> that he was the one that Jesus loved. <laughs> and he was, you know, um, you know, because John always wrote about love and God is saying, uh, you know, remember that the world will know that you are my disciples by the way you love one another. 
The world will know how, who you belong to or that you belong to me by the way you love one another. And this is where we really have to get this thing down and we really have to get this discipline in place. Number one is in the area of love, brotherly love, you know, showing love to the household of faith. You know what I mean? Um, as the scripture says, we ought to, you know, uh, be, you know, be good to everybody. But it says, especially to them that are of the household of faith. Why? Because we're we're in this thing together. And, and, and if we don't bend together in unity, then, you know, we won't be able to pull. You know what I mean? To have that magnetic pull that pulls those souls out of the out of the hand of, of the devil into the kingdom of light. It's a, there's love is like a magnetic pull. The Bible, God said, with loving kindness, have I drawn thee, drawn, drawn. That's a pull. That's a magnetic pull. If I know you love me, I'm going to come to you every time. I'm going to come to you every time. And when I know that I'm loved, my eyes wake up to the fact or my eyes open up to the fact of who doesn't love me. Oh, God, here we go. See, when you see the love of God, you can realize, you will realize who the devil is because he's the one that's been tearing your life up. He's the one who's been stealing, killing, destroying. And, and, and love awakens you to the truth. True love awakens you to the truth. But we're not talking about this false love, you know, that, that the enemy has perverted which is actually lust. And a lot of it is really infatuation. And infatuation isn't just something that takes place when somebody is entering into uh, some kind of relationship or trying to attach themselves to somebody um, intimately or sexually. Uh, infatuation um, can be with anyone. You know, we become infatuated with people. And then we begin to make idols out of them and put them, you know, uh, in the wrong place, put them in the wrong place in our lives. They begin to replace God somehow, you know, and we start running after them and listening to everything they say instead of everything that the word says, everything God said. And we get off track. And so God is saying, um, uh, I, I, I really, really want you guys to get this together because, um, this is what this is the this is like the missing piece. Uh, it, it, I wish I could get my 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 body united. I wish I could get y'all to unite, because even if you look at a human body, all the all the organs and all the different parts work together for the same purpose and the same cause. It is to produce life. It is to continue, you know, to to uh, put, produce and and to uh, maintain life. Life, life, life. God is saying live. He says live. I want you to live. Some of us are out there, you know, talking about we finna go preach uh, the gospel. We finna go start a church. We finna go start a ministry. We finna go do this and do this and do that for the Lord. But we have not even taken care of home. Talking about love now. We don't know how to treat our brothers and sisters in Christ. We over there hating on people. And Jesus said, uh, leave them alone. They're, if, if they're not against me, then they're for me. You know, people that are out there trying to, you know, trying to, trying to uh, do something for the Lord. You know what I mean? And we, you know, you know how some of us were raised now. Come on, let's just be honest. Oh, well, they ain't got the spirit. Well, they ain't anointed and they ain't this and they ain't that. That's not that's 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 not the love of Jesus. Now, it's one thing when you're talking about Pharisee spirits, religious spirits that are coming to attack you because you're doing the right thing. That's what Jesus was against. But, you know, we can't be the ones out there attacking other people and being hypocrites. So, you know, this is the real thing. This is the real stuff that the enemy, you know, uh, 
don't want to hear. He, he don't want us talking about stuff like this. He don't want us to bring out the real truth. But I'm going to tell you something. The Holy Ghost showed me that this new year that we, we're already like, I, I feel like I'm already, <coughs> I'm already in the new year. You know, because we, we, we started, set, we started ours, you know what I mean? Rosh Hashanah. But I'm saying, um, this new year, the Holy Ghost said, this is the year that truth will prevail. This is the year that the truth will prevail. He's saying we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We are getting down to the raw truth. The raw truth. All the little stuff that we tried to put a band-aid on. All the little stuff that we tried to cover up and sweep under the rug. All the little stuff that we thought the Lord didn't see. All the hidden things of dishonesty in our hearts. You know, that are polluting us and polluting our souls and making us, you know what I mean? Uh, making us uh, powerless against the enemy. See, when, when Jesus said, when, if your whole body be filled with light, you know, if your eye be single to me, then your whole body will be filled with light. Well, if my whole body is filled with light and there is no darkness, no darkness. That's why he said, I'm coming back for a church without spot. Spot is darkness. Without spot, wrinkle or blemish or without spot or blemish. A lamb without blemish. Are you seeing it? Without blemish. So he's saying, I am coming for that heart. I'm coming for that heart and I'm going to wash it with my word. I'm going to wash you with the water of my word. I am going to purge you. I'm going to purify. I'm going to sanctify you in my truth. You're going to be walking in so much truth and living out so much truth. Anything that is not mixed with darkness or mixed with a lie, guess what? It's pure. It's pure. It's pure. I don't know about none of y'all, but, you know, I used to be in the dope game. And I, I, I tell my testimony because I'm not ashamed of it. You know, I'm not ashamed of it anymore. And I mean, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes things got desperate and we had to mix some stuff. Yeah, you put, a little, you put a little spank on that thing, didn't you? A little baking soda in there. And some people was, was just selling straight up soap when it got dry in the streets. Oh, y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all don't want to talk. Real talk. Real talk, right? So what am I saying? I'm saying that there ain't no spank on that. <laughs> I'm saying that when your heart is pure, when your soul is pure, hmm. When you have went, gone through the process and you say, you know what, Lord, I, I, I'm renouncing the hidden things of dishonesty now. I, I see this stuff, you know, David said, show me, Lord, try my heart, try my reins, show me if there be any wicked way found in me. Some of us are scared to look at ourselves. We're, we, are, we are literally terrified. Excuse me, to look in ourselves. I was just sitting down. That was not what you thought it might have sounded like. <laughs> but but he said, show me. Show me. I want to see so I can deal with it face on, so I can get rid of it, so I can renounce it. He said, submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So I can resist it. Yes. So I can truly repent. This is what real repentance is all about. It's about change. It's about change. And if the kingdom of heaven is now, then we have to change. We have to change. We have to embrace change. Lean into change. 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 And so the Lord said, I'm purifying. 
You know, when that bride walked down that aisle, if it's a, you know, if, 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 if it's the right <laughs> kind of wedding, she's wearing a pure white dress. She has, she has, she is not defiled. She is undefiled. She is without spot. She is without blemish. She is pure. She is pure. Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you will reign with me. Well, he was the lamb of God, the worthy lamb of God. The Bible says without blemish, without spot, without blemish. And they, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the old Testament sacrifices, they would tie that. They, the Lord would demand uh, a lamb without spot. He wanted a pure sacrifice. And they would have to find, they would have to go and get a lamb that literally did not have a spot or a blemish to offer up before the Lord. And that lamb didn't know what was going on. And they would tie his arms and his legs together. And he didn't, he didn't utter a mumbling word or a sound. It, it, you know, and they tied him up and they laid him on that wood. You know, and and, and some of the sacrifices, um, if you read through there, you know, what I'm saying they they cut that animal and they and they offered up the best parts to the Lord. Now, put yourself in that place, in the place of that lamb. You see how far off we are? You see how far off we are? When we go through, we crying, we hollering, we complaining, we cussing, we blaming people, you know, and all kind of stuff. And we constantly murmur and complain. But God said, you know, he was, he was, he was angry with the children of Israel for all that murmuring and complaining all the time because that, didn't, that shows that where your level of faith is, you're not in faith there. That lamb wasn't complaining. Jesus did not complain. He prayed to the Father and he said, Lord, if it be possible, remove this cup from me. But it was the will of God for him to drink that cup. So, so the Lord is saying, it's time. I, you know, I, I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, marry a child. Oh, God. My bride, my wife is not a baby. She's not a child. I'm not a child molester. She is mature. She has come till we all come to the unity of the faith unto a perfect man. That means perfect means mature. Until the full measure and stature or maturity level of Jesus Christ. And so we're, he's bringing us to that level until we all come into the unity of the faith. He's doing, he's bringing us to that level together so we can walk in unity. How good and pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. So he's saying, I want to see my body unified. I want to see y'all come together in love because that's when you're going to be the most potent and you're going to be able, you're going to be able to, to throw that knockout punch. You know what I mean? <laughs> we say spiritual warfare, prayer, Halloween and, and praying and, and warfare against, uh, against demons and stuff. But let me tell you how to really, really hit the mark. Let me tell you how to really, 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 the Holy Ghost is saying how to really hit the mark, how to really hit it every time. How to really hit the bullseye every time and never miss. You have to renounce the hidden things of dishonesty. You have to focus, get laser focused on the man, Jesus the Christ. And pattern yourself after that. Look at the example. I said the man because... 
when he walked the earth, that was the example God was saying, here, I'm showing you now how to do this thing, how I want you to live in the earth. That's why I'm, I'm that's why I planted myself there for for a season. I'm coming down there where you're at so I can show so I can lead by example. The seeing is believing. So, you know, pure Jesus Jesus was pure and he led a pure life. And the result of that purity and that pure heart that he had or that he has is it, it, it was power. It was power. Purity equals power. It equals potency. And no mixture, no spank on it, right? Potency. That means that when you when you open your mouth, <laughs> you are about to de <coughs> deliver the knockout punch. You know, the devil is terrified. Every time you get ready to open your mouth. Purity equals potency. That's why Jesus says that, you know, he went about doing good. And healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. Healing comes out of purity. Healing comes out of purity. We want to produce purity. I mean, we want to produce healing and we want to produce miracles. Some people are doing it because they want to be seen of men, but I'm telling you. Some people want to do it because they want money, but I'm telling you, that is not the way to go. That is not the way to go. You're walking, you're gonna, you're walking a long journey. And at the end of that road, you're going to have to turn around and go come all the way back. And so you're just wasting your time if your motive is not pure. And you're out here for the wrong reasons. You're going to make so many. You know, you're just going to wish you had not, had not done that. Let's just put that nicely and pretty. You know, but, 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 you know, when you are, <coughs> excuse me, when you are pure and you're, then, then the works that come out of you are pure. And your ministry is pure and it's impactful. It's impactful. You might not have the, the biggest following or the biggest membership in your church or whatever it is that you're doing, but you know, but it's impactful. You're changing lives. You know, what, what, what's the saying? Um, uh, quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. See, everybody got fruit. But Jesus didn't say, you know, oh, you know, look at my fruit. Jesus said this. He said, he said, no, there's good fruit and there's bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce evil fruit and an evil tree cannot produce good fruit. So there's two kinds of fruit. So don't know, we need to stop saying, well, look at my fruit. What people are saying is, look at how many people are following me. Look at, look at, you know, what, what I'm producing. Yeah. Anyone can produce. Anybody can produce. The devil is reproducing right now. But his fruit is bad fruit. So the real fruit is what? The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Holy fruit. Pure fruit. Are we reproducing uh, people after his kind. <laughs> Are we reproducing after after our own kind? Being full of the Holy Ghost. That means we're reproducing after his kind. He said, I, I, I want to see good fruit, though. And, and, and that's the reason, if truth be told, why God uh, was against numbering the people. Remember when he rebuked David? And I mean, the Bible says that he slew, uh, I forget how many, but it was a thousand of, of, of thousands of his own children of Israel. He slew them that day. The angel of the Lord slew them that day. 
what, what? I don't want to get off track, but read that. That is in, uh, I think I read that the other night to you all. That is in uh, Chronicles, First Chronicles, um, chapter 10, I believe. Or chapter 7, sorry. I have to, uh, I have to find it again. I'll drop it in the comments for y'all. I'll drop it in the comments for y'all. But you know, um, David got in trouble with the Lord when he numbered the people. Guess who else got in trouble when they numbered the people? Moses. Oh, do y'all read y'all Bible? See, where? See, the foundation of the church is faulty because we've been numbering people for years. Church membership. Well, how many we got on our roster? How many we got on our, you know, on a, and, 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 and this and, you know, well, how many this and this and this? And all we're concerned about is numbers, because really, if, if we're telling the truth, we're counting money out of that. We're like, OK, well, you know, if we got this many people. We know we can get this much money, you know, out of them or whatever. Then we can, you know, do this and this and this and that. And God is saying that's not faith when you are, uh, you know, now you, you're you're trying to control this thing. And some might call it wisdom or whatever. All I know is what the Bible said. The Bible said, God said, I don't like that. Don't be numbering it, my people. Let me let me worry about that. All you know, because that's why I was about to say a while ago, that's why God re reduced the troops all the time. Yeah, you know, with Gideon and uh, Gideon's 300, he said, take them down there, try them first, test them first. He didn't say, just haul them all in there and start looking, see how many you got. And then, no, you know, the more people you got, then you know, you, you, you know, you own it. No, that's not what he said. He said, try them at the water, try them at the brook. See which ones really want this thing, are, are thirsty for this thing, lap like a, that lap like a dog for this thing. See how many are willing to, you know, to, to uh, be desperate and ain't, 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 ain't no shame in their game. You know what I mean? And that is who I want. So the the number started out real big, but then when 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 God got through trying them, <laughs> it was real small. And He said, mm -hmm, "I'm finna win with this. Yeah, we finna we finna get the victory with this little bitty. You know what I'm saying? God is smiling on the small. God is smiling on the small." He said, I'd rather have the poor in this world, rich in faith. Because if you ain't got nothing, you can't do nothing but believe. You all, you come all the way down. That's why God bring us all the way down sometime. All the way down to the ground. Because you ain't got nowhere else to look up, to look but up. Desperation. That's what produces power. I'm desperate. I want to see lives change. I want to see souls come out of darkness. I want to win. I'm sick of letting the devil win. I'm sick of letting the devil win. I'm sick of letting him steal and take everything all the time. Who is he? Who are you, devil? And you can just come up in and just take whatever you want. Who are you, devil? This is my house. These are my kids. And as for me and my house and my kids, we will serve the Lord. Who are you? Come up in here telling somebody what they can, what they can and can't do. You know, who are you coming here telling somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like what? You know who? Who? You know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do in my own mind. How I'm going to think. Who are you, devil? Come up in here telling somebody, you know, uh, 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 who, I'm, who, who to sleep with. You know what I mean? 
You ain't gonna, you ain't finna run my life. You ain't finna run my life. I be all over there sleeping with people that I ain't even connect. I ain't even married to, picking up all kind of demons. Come on, man. And then these people, you know, and 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 he loves to get people that are. <laughs> you see, deliverance is the children's bread, as my my brother always says. Deliverance is the children's bread. Jesus said, "This is not, you know, it, it, it wasn't time uh, uh, for y'all to get that yet because." You know, this is not for the dogs. I'm not going to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. So, woman, you got to wait. <laughs> That's what he was telling her. And she said, no, my Lord. Even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. She was desperate. She was desperate. And see, the thing about it, you know, uh, the devil loves to demonize the children. <laughs> That's the point of the matter. He's not coming for, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to worry about his own. He coming from the, for the children of God. The children of God. Deliverance is for the children of God. Because we want to live right. We trying to live right. But, you know, he want to demonize and he loves to demonize leaders in the body of Christ. Turn them into Jezebel's. And Ahabs, turn them out, pervert them, have them walking in the spirit of Antichrist. So we're going to pray. The Lord was saying, discipline, discipline, discipline your heart, discipline your mind, discipline. That word, when we eat that word, it, it produces uh, discipline. It does. When we stay in it, it does. It produces discipline because you're constantly looking yourself in the mirror and God is showing you what's wrong. And if your heart is really right with God, you want to change. Plain and simple. Change. We want to change. And that's how, that's the most powerful thing you can do in spiritual warfare. People think spiritual warfare is all about the mouth and what you, you know, your gift for gab in the spirit. No, 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 no. It is about how you live. It is about how you live. It's about talking it, yeah, and then walking it out. Walking it out. Because he already know, okay, they finna, they finna get up and they, they finna pray against us, you know, uh, on Halloween and all that. But he already know that. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all think the devil is smart. He already know that. But he's waiting now. <laughs> he's laying in the cut now. You know what I mean? He waiting on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We wait, we used to wait till them jokers came out the house. Yeah. We, he waiting on you now. He waiting on you. He waiting on you to slip. Don't get caught slipping. Don't get caught slipping. He waiting on you to slip. Because he because when you slip, <laughs> or when you are when you fall asleep, yeah, that's called slipping. When you fought, when you doze off and you fall asleep. Mm-hmm. You like, I know them jokes. They ain't finna, they ain't finna hold, they ain't finna uh do nothing. They just talking. They all talk. They all talk. They all talk. No action. At the end of the day, they're going to be doing the same thing. Sitting up somewhere at the church talking about somebody. Gossiping, slandering somebody. They're going to they be doing the same thing. Go right back over there to that man you know ain't your husband. They're going to do the same thing. Get back right back over there, slipping and tipping, uh, you know, with that bottle. Right back to the same thing, lying. You know, right back to the same thing. God is saying, discipline. Right back to the same thing, hating on people, biting and devouring each other. Pride, you know, 
We got the best thing. We got the best in this city. You know? He said, like, man, I got y'all. I, I got y'all in my back pocket. I ain't worried about y'all. I ain't worried about y'all. Just dropping some truth. Just dropping some truth. Just dropping the, the, the truth. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Discipline. Root word of disciple is discipline. Disciple. Discipline. The Lord says all things decently and in order. Get your life in order. We got to get our lives in order. We have to get our hearts in order. We have to get our house, our physical house, this temple, the body of the Holy Ghost in order. This body, the temple of the Holy Ghost, we got to get it in order. We got to get our mouth in order. <coughs> We got to we got to get our hearts in order. Get our house in order. Get your house in order. Discipline. Order. Discipline. Order. Love first. Love first. Love is what's going to draw souls. It's going to pull souls out of darkness into the kingdom of my dear son. The love of Jesus, the love of Jesus, the love of Jesus. It takes a real big heart. It takes a real big heart. It takes a real big heart. The Lord says, are you up for the challenge? Are you up for the challenge? It takes a real big heart to love when they spit on you. To love when they slap you in the face. To love when they're talking about you. To love when they're persecuting you. To love when they're stealing from you. To love when they're hating on you. He said, take a real big heart. Yeah, when you see the truth and you turn the other cheek, it takes a real big heart. When you learn how to see and don't see, it takes a real big heart. Hey, he said he uttered not a mumbling word. He uttered not a mumbling word. He was like a lamb dumb to the slaughter in the name of Jesus. He says, are you up for the challenge? Are you up for the challenge? Can I shape you? Can I mold you? Can I transform you into the image of my dear son? Are you ready to face the truth? Are you ready to face the truth? Are you ready to walk in the truth? Are you ready to walk in my love? This is the kingdom. This is the kingdom. The fruit of the spirit is what we should be working on. The fruit of the spirit. Love. First thing, love. First thing, love, love, joy, peace. Woo. Kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. <coughs> Everybody talking kingdom. Kingdom is not what you build. Kingdom is not what ab about what we're building, even though we are building. Kingdom is about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost anything that don't produce righteousness anything that don't produce peace anything that don't pr produce joy in the holy ghost get rid of it get rid of it the lord says get rid of it Get rid of it. Cut it off. 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 If your right hand offends you, cut it off. If your right eye offends you, pluck it out. Cut it off. It's better to enter into the kingdom. Woo! It's better to enter into the kingdom 
with one eye. Hey, my socorro basiro It's better to enter. Oh, cut it off, he said. Cut it off. Cut it off. My socorro basiro He said, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. The slander, the gossip, the, the lies, the fear. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. The pride. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Everything that don't look like Jesus. Everything that don't look like Jesus. Why? Because God wants to use us. God wants to use us to cast out devils, to heal the sick. To raise the dead. God, <laughs> you want to know why, why ain't now one of us raised a dead person yet? <laughs> See, they was raising dead people uh, uh, before they even had the Holy Ghost. Old Testament. <laughs> yeah. Elijah raised a dead child. That woman, you know, he that... that, that that, that, that little old woman that made that room for him in, in our house. You know, they was raising the dead. They didn't even have the Holy Ghost. Now we talk, we come talking about we got the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and we can't raise the dead, though. Purity, discipline, love, fruit of the Spirit. Oh, I'm preaching to myself. He said, greater works than these shall you do. Greater works than these shall you do. And you know that, not that word greater, in my study Bible, it means more. It means more. It means more. Jesus is not saying that you will do better than him. Because he, he, it would contradict what he said. He said, the servant cannot be above his master, nor, nor, nor the, uh, 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 the, the, you know, uh, cannot be above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Go get that scripture. In other words, you know, no, ain't nobody, Jesus is the head honcho now. Come on, look, let's just not, let's not get it twisted. And ain't nobody outdid him yet. And will not outdo him because he is the creator. <laughs> he is the absolute. So, so you know, that's not what that, that's not what that was saying. It, it was saying that more. Why? Because he came and planted himself as a seed for the purpose of multiplying himself. He said, I want more. Of me. I need more of me in the earth. I need more of I need I need more of y'all looking like me. Yeah. I came to redeem so I can multiply. Y'all. So I can multiply. So the whole earth can be filled. Yeah, the whole earth can be filled with my power. My power. My power. Everything the devil do, you can undo. Huh. Everything, yeah. He throw down his rod and it become a serpent. You throw down your rod and it's going to swallow up his snakes. He think he doing something, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen no, you ain't seen nothing yet, devil. Only one we supposed to have a perfect hatred for is him. That's the only hate you should have. Not the people. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We have to remember that. How many of us forgot that? We wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Oh, he didn't even say demons. He said the principalities and powers that are ruling the nations and the uh, 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 principalities, princes or rulers over municipalities. That's what that means. 
over different areas, different regions, different nations. Oh, the UN is what, ah, y'all don't want to get, okay. Yeah, they shall cast out devils. They shall heal the sick. They shall raise the dead. You ain't got to fake it either. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some preachers faking it on, 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 on the YouTube. Masoko rabasi robo shana. He said, "You ain't gotta fake it." Masi robo shana na masi robo shai. I'm getting ready to empower you. Mi robo shana na masa. I'm getting ready to purify my bride. Mi robo shai. I'm getting ready to purify and sanctify and remove every blemish. Ki robo sa. Every spot you're gonna walk in truth. And you're going to walk in true love. This is the year that the truth shall prevail. In the name of Jesus, this is the year that the truth. Renouncing the hidden things of dishonesty. Washing out the spots. Getting that bitterness out of that heart. Getting that unforgiveness out of that heart. Getting that hatred out of that heart. He says, I'm pulling it up by the roots. You getting set free today. Today is the day of your deliverance. Today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day, day of change. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Change. Change. Breaking every yoke. Destroying every shackle. Come out of that prison. Come out of that prison house. Come up out of there, my so called Rabbi He's opening up your prison doors. I don't know who this is for. He's opening up, it's for all of us. He's opening up your prison doors. He said, Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. My so called Rabbi Rabbi all the chains are loosed. All their chains were loosed. Come out wherever you are. Some people been in prison so long, they just they just hunker down in that little dark corner. And, and the prison door come open. They scared to even get up and try to come out now. The, devil, the Lord says, come out. The devil is defeated. Walk boldly in the love of Christ. Love has prevailed. His love has prevailed. His love has prevailed. The blood has prevailed. Love, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Laying down our lives for a friend. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, unselfish, unselfish, unselfish. Jesus was not selfish. If so, you wouldn't be here right now. None of us would be here right now. Masa, the blood has prevailed. The blood has prevailed. And the devil is already cast down <laughs> i feel a song now y'all know i can't sing so i'll probably be getting on some of y'all nerve but he's already cast down already cast down come out come out come out wherever you are <laughs> come out wherever you are the lord says come out of that prison the devil is already cast down. He said, Behold, I saw Satan fall like lightning. He is already cast down. Already cast down. You better get up because he cast down. Already cast down to the ground. Hey, under the ground. Come out wherever you are. Come out. Woo, come out. 
Freedom is now. Freedom is now. Freedom is now. Everything twisted, perverted, everything out of the way. Come out in the name of Jesus. The Lord, the Lord calls you out. The Lord calls you out. The Lord calls you out. Out of that darkness into the light. Out of that darkness into the light. Every unclean thing be made whole. Be made whole. The Lord Jesus sets you free today. The Lord Jesus sets you free today. We bind every unclean spirit, every lying spirit, every foul spirit, everything that maketh a lie, everything that perverts and twists the truth. Every spirit of seduction, every serpentine spirit, every snake, every viper, every cockatrice, in the name of Jesus, we destroy your eggs by fire. Consume the eggs that they laid in your life. Consume. All the eggs, all the eggs by fire. We rebuke every foul demon, every spirit that come to steal, kill, and destroy. In the name of Jesus, we bind you and cast you and banish you to the bottomless pit. Until the final day of judgment. Until the final day of judgment. You know what that means. Lake of fire, devil. Because you're already cast down. <laughs> already cast down. To the ground. Already consumed. <laughs> Already, hey, see, your enemy is the part of you <laughs> that don't look like Jesus. Yeah, that, that, that sin nature in there, that, that Jekyll and Hyde, uh-huh, that's the one you got to hate on. So when you hear us praying prayers like this, we are praying <laughs> against the devil that's working in us first. Me are the shot. Oh, you got to look yourself in the mirror and tell the devil, you're already cast down. <laughs> See, you got to go get some deliverance and get that mess cast out of you. So you can say, you're already cast down. So when you look at your brother and you look at your sister and they bound, you can say, devil, you're already cast down. Because I'm walking in love. Because I'm walking in purity. Because I'm walking in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. You're already cast down. Greater is he that is inside me than he that's in the world. You're already cast down. Mm-hmm. He's already cast down. <laughs> He's already cast down. <clears throat> Lord said, get on one accord. Get on one accord with the fact <laughs> that, your, that, that your enemy, your adversary, the devil, who walketh about like a roaring lion, because he's not a lion. <clears throat> he is not the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are. He more scared of you than you is. He, he more scared of you than you is of him. He said, if I could get y'all on one accord, and if I could get your eyes single unto me, and looking unto me, looking unto Jesus, who is the author, the devil ain't, ain't got a right to have a foothold in your life because he ain't create nothing. Over that line, he ain't created a doggone thing. He ain't paid for nothing up in that house. Jesus paid it all. Jesus paid it all. 
Jesus paid it all. You know, oh, somebody gonna get free today. Jesus paid it all with his own, woo, with his own blood. Pure love, pure love, pure love. Jesus paid it all. <laughs> He said, if I could just get all y'all on one accord and get y'all to understand that this joker is already defeated. Your adversary, the devil. <laughs> Woo, the accuser of the brethren. Yeah. Don't be found looking like that. The accuser of the brethren is already cast down. He's already cast down. <laughs> he is already condemned. He said, no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, guess what? Has already been condemned. He said, you shall condemn it though. This is the heritage. This is our right as the servants of God, as the saints, as the children of God. You're right. Condemn it. Condemn it. That means demolish it. Yeah, that means tear it down to the ground. Tear it down to the ground. It's already cast down. Yeah. You have the right to destroy that thing. Life and death is in the power. You have the right to kill that thing. You're all shot in the power of your tongue. Conversation, the word conversation. He says, seeing that this day, uh, that the day that the Lord comes, the seeing that this day is drawing nigh. See, Jesus is at the door. Many people don't know that. He, seeing that this day is, is so close, it's, it's drawing nigh. How, how holy or how, how holy are we to be? How, how, how righteous ought we to be in all, the Bible says, in all holy conversation. Well, the word conversation, when you look that up, it's not just the talk, it's the walk. It means lifestyle. It means lifestyle. Yes, it means lifestyle. It means lifestyle. Conversation means not just the talk. <laughs> See, we, 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 we think that means just the talk. The Bible says, no, conversation means lifestyle. It, it means lifestyle. It means whatever's coming out of your mouth, that's the way you're going to walk. Oh, God. You're already cast out like lightning. Rabba Sotorobo Shia Rabasa. It's lightning. It takes a split second, not even a whole second, to change your mind. Already cast down, that's lightning. Miorobo shot. Bam. Change. Miorobo shot. Already cast down. I don't want to walk like that no more. I'm not going to be like that. Already cast down. Change. Miorobo shot. Make a decision. Already cast down. To the ground, tread upon the head of every serpent and scorpion in the name of Christ Jesus. You're already cast down. I'm out of here, y'all. If y'all was waiting on a, uh, <laughs> if y'all was waiting on a, on a, on, a, on a official closing of the prayer of all the religious people out there, he's already cast down. Whoop, there it is. Already cast down <laughs> to the ground. In the name of Jesus. Is that what you was waiting on? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He's already cast down. <laughs> Just tell the devil today. When he show up in your life. When he show up on your job. You're already cast down. Because <laughs> I changed my mind, devil. You're already cast down. I ain't rocking with you no more. You're already cast down. <laughs> hey. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through what? Pulling it down. You're already cast down to the ground. <laughs> Casting down imaginations and every high thing 
that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Yeah, every high thing, pull it down, cast it down, cast it down. Sitting up in the temple as God, as if it was God, but it's not God. Cast it down. Cast them thoughts down. Cast them lies that they're lies. Walk in truth. Already cast down. Walk in the truth. Walk in my love. Already cast down. Every day. This is discipline. Every day. That means making this decision every day. Already, <laughs> when I get up in the morning, devil, you're already cast down. No, I, get out my face. You're already cast down. I don't want to hear that mess. You're already cast down. When my feet hit the floor, you're already cast down. You're all shot. My so called because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the lamb without spot. Without blemish. Perfect in all your ways. Pure in all your ways. Holy, righteous, faithful and true in all your ways. Father, we bless your name. We magnify your name. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. Be high and lifted up. Arise within us and scatter all your enemies in the name of Jesus. Scatter all your enemies in the name of Jesus. He said, y'all got to get right. Or you're going to get left. Scatter all your enemies in the name of Jesus, Lord. We got to get right, y'all. Because we don't want to get left. We got to get right. We got to get right. We got to get right. That's real deliverance. It's change. Yeah, cast the devil out and then change. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We got to get right. I'm telling you, we got to get right or we're going to get left. We got to get right or we're going to get left. He said, I want to see change. I want to see love. I want to see discipline. I want to see unity in my body. Yeah, look at your body. See how it functions. That's what I want to see among y'all. That's what I want to see among y'all. I love y'all. I got to get out of here. Just take that with you on your day. Take that with you throughout the rest of your week. Take that with you throughout the rest of this year and into next year. The spirit of truth will prevail. Walk in the truth and you'll find yourself walking in the love of Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to go. He's the only way to go. He's the only way to go. It's it's through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I love you. God bless you. Continue to pray. God bless you. Bye-bye. Already cast down.